Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this time we are getting it all in Escape for Honest 2, or first 2, for, for short, yeah. So this again was developed and published by Onskull Games, and is available for another £4.19 slash $4.99 in the US of Buckaroo. So immediately then after the first one was released, basically um, all the devs thought, well, well, they had a wild party and thought, screw it. Let's get the second one out too. And so they did, and here we are. Uh, there are a few little sort of slight upgrades in terms of um, graphics and more detailed levels, great areas and atmosphere, but again, a very enjoyable puzzle game. Achievements are pretty much as straightforward as the first game, only this time we only have to mess around with and get one multiplayer achievement for completing a level with three other people. Still a bit of a pain in the butt snatch, but... Uh, you know, like I said, like I said in the last video, you can drop me gamer tag in the comment section and get a few of you boost in to get that to get that one achievement out of the way. And once again, this is a place of helping you now. <laughs> um, but anyway, like I said, with the solo stuff, this time you're gonna get it around between sort of 15 minutes to 20 minutes ish, something like that. And of course, chuck another minute or two for the other achievement, and that's that. And so, with that being said, then let us begin again. So there's no um, other multiplayer stuff this time, so we can get straight into solo again. Remember, it's the right trigger, of course, to um, interact with everything rather than the A button. The A button, as we begin the Psycho Circus 2, which is the very left one. So the A button will uh, toggle your flashlight on and off, but again, remember, we are just um, clicking things with the right trigger, basically interacting with everything. So immediately turn to your right and go over to the keypad by the door, and you need to type in the words clown. C L O W. N. Where did they get that from me? Oh, it's my face! How did you do that? Anyway, clown, this time what you need to do is with the left stick, you need to open up the door yourself, this time by moving left or right. Go to the right and head down and grab this note here on the stage. That's just going to get us achievement. So as soon as the achievement unlocks, press the left trigger to discard that schniz. Go uh, past the stage here, down to the other side, behind it, and interact with this weird button. Now, you need to choose up. Again, remember it's right trigger. So it's up, left, right, down, up, right, left, up, down, and middle. So up, left, right, down, up, right, left, up, down, middle. So enter the door again, doing it yourself. Yeah, can't believe it. So, interact with the safe here and input the code 99832. So that's 99832. Green button, that schnoz. And remember, you have to press the left trigger again to back out after you've um, hit the right trigger on the green key. That just gets us another achievement. Have a look over the uh, vanity mirror on the left and type in the word Tora. T-O-R-A. Uh, I couldn't even spell it myself then. So Tora, Tora. Bora Bora, Tora Borealis. Um, head to the right and you can see this next little puzzle. It's left, up, left, down, right, up, right, down, right. And then press the middle button. So that's left up, left, down, right up, right, down, right, middle button. So go straight through, interact with the keypad again, and type in 4697 and... You are flying like an absolute mushroom head right now. So congratulations. So that's the first one complete. Again, when you're going to be doing the whole uh, multiplayer achievement with three other people, that'll be the easiest level and quickest level to do it on. So let's begin again then. On to level two. Nip your ass to solo there and go to escape room factory. So these last two levels do have a little bit more involvement, which is what I meant by is a bit of an upgrade in terms of the first game. So immediately look, uh, look down. Again, press the A button to put your flashlight on if you want. Pick up the pipe and put it over onto the left-hand side here. Turn to the right, interact with the first bathroom door stall that you find, and there's another pipe. Oh, charming. <laughs> I thought that was something else, but no, it's just a pipe. So put it in the middle right there, so it's looking that good. Interact with the uh, safe next to you and input the code 4531. So that's 4531. Hit the green button there, and then press left trigger to back out. Go to the left. And you can see a bunch of keys floating out of absolute nowhere. It's not creepy at all. Pick up the keys and they fly down the toilet. Next, to the left, choose top middle, top right, and then bottom middle. That's top middle, top right, bottom middle. And things should power out. Go to the left and then input the code 4212. So I do apologize if this is a bit quick, by the way, just like the last one. 
uh, 4, 2, 1, 2, and that's all good. So turn to the left after you hit the red button then. We are going to turn to the left, go back to the save code with the mirror. Now, when we open it up, you need to press the bottom button, very bottom button, just once, okay? Just press it once, and then have a look to your right to see if the wall has switched. Sometimes it can be a bit finicky. So uh, I highly advise every time you need to press it, press it once and see if the wall has spun. Because what you need to see, like I said, we're only pressing it once this time, and that is in order to get up this, what kind of looks like a weird torture device or an s &M device. Uh, but this is all we need. So press right, the right arrow once and then the spawn button. That's going to get the screwdriver. You can just leave them there for now. Uh, press the right arrow again and then spawn. That's going to get a wrench. <laughs> Angry wrench. And then for the last time, press the right arrow again and then press the spawn button. That's going to get us a crowbar. So, again, remember if you've picked up one item, press the left trigger to drop it. So grab the crowbar, go over to the left-hand side by the mirrors to... <laughs> well, I'll try that again. Grab the crowbar and then uh, interact it with the chains. Open up the cupboard. And that's going to get a, a bottle of water and a pipe. Uh, we'll grab the water for now and put it into the pipe next to us where we've seen the floating ghost keys from earlier on. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Turn directly to the right. Now grab the wrench. Turn direct, basically all the way around, go to the opposite end of the room, and interact with this bolt. It's nuts, it's bolts, and we got some water as well. So, you can drop the wrench now with the left trigger, and grab the bucket of water. Because for some reason, according to everyone else in the world, only British people say water. Uh, stick that in the pipe and smoke it, and then grab the screwdriver wherever you pop that. And we're going to need to go to the left here, and interact with the bottom button again twice. So if we interact with it twice, what you're going to see is like a, a fuse box. A third time, sorry. So yeah, three times. So apologies. So we interact with it three times. We see this fuse box. It Put the screwdriver over there with the screw. That'll get us a screw. And then what we can do is actually open it up. And then we need to flick on the lights of one, two, four, and six. So one, two, four, and six. So be doing that. Interact with the cupboard right next to it. And that's going to get us another bottle of whoa. Oi, get you over. Turn it around, stick that square in the pipe, and this time you can smoke it. And then we're going to grab the pipe from the cupboard from earlier, just to the left of us. Uh, we need to interact with the bottom button again, so we interact with that just once. And the pipe's puzzle will appear right on the top. Well, sort of basically right in front of us where we are, sort of where the uh, last bit needs to go with the right. It's uh, up on the top, it's basically right in front of us, so turn around. Now we can interact with the air compressor. You'll know it's on when it starts making a loud bloody noise, mate! And then turn directly around, go back, and the keys should now be out of the pipe. So we smoke them. So interact with the bottom button once again. Uh, put the key in. Interact with the bottom button. Eventually we're going to turn around. And then we're going to interact with the bottom button again. We're just looking at the door now. So we're just keeping going until we find the door. Should only need to do it twice. There it is. Interact with the door. And there we go. That is the second level complete. And now we're off to the torture chamber. Oh my god. I mean, everyone's got their kinks. So you make what you will of this. Uh, but it's nothing like that. This is just an escape room. It's kinkless. You dirty gits. I don't know what you're all like. So, solo... Press the third level there, torture chamber, and start again. And, of course, we're just going to get straight into it. A couple of these puzzles are a little bit more complicated than the other two levels. So, it's very interesting. So, as we begin, turn directly around to grab the torch. And then turn directly around to, to uh, use it on the rope hanging in the middle of the room. That's going to get this sledgehammer off. And, of course, we're going to drop the torch, pick up the sledgehammer, turn to the left, get rid of the bricks. Uh, that is the worst... <laughs> That's the worst wall I've ever seen. Looks like a new house build, to be honest, doesn't it? Uh, right, so keep going down the hallway, and we're going to end up in this next room. You can just drop your sledgehammer, by the way. We don't need it. But on the left, you're going to see, like, six discs. So from left to right is one to six. So you need to choose the first one once, the second disc three times, the third one two times, the fourth one three times, the fifth one, one time, and the sixth one, two times. And you're going to see a little f f blue flashing light like the British police water are going to get you. Uh, but what that does then is basically we need to do this in another order. So it's two, six, four, five, 
One. And three. And now that's going to uh, enable us to open up the chest just below us. So we need to open that up by pressing up on the left stick. Press the, pick the B one up and turn directly around. And on the bottom left here, that is where you need to put the upside down B. Or the uh, Lara Croft boobies they look like from the PlayStation 1 days. Uh, go back to the chest, grab the S. It kind of just looks like someone off their nut. Turn around and that's going to go in the very top of the puzzle. So the very top, there it is, the 12 o'clock position. So go back to the chest and grab what kind of looks like a number eight. Number eight, or the infinite time. And that's going to go in the top left one. So there it is, the number eight, or whatever that one is. Turn back around, and we're going to grab the... There's two pieces left, so we're going to grab the left one first, which kind of... It looks like a Y, but we're going to put that in the bottom left corner. And that's not a Y, that's somebody happily dancing. Yay! Grab the final one, <laughs> looks like somebody cheering and jumping at the same time. Grab the last one, put it in the top right corner, and that looks like a weird C. And that uh, will open up this key for us, or will enable us to grab this key, turn directly around, and open up the jail cell door. Get out. So go to the left here, down the hallway, into the first room here on the right as well. You will need to interact with the bolt as well, and move that to the left to unlock it. Uh, for some reason, this did take me a few seconds to realize that. So you need to actually interact with the lock itself, unlock it, and head on through. So, go to the right, and what you're going to see then, there's two swords on here. Now, the one we need is the one without the handle. So I just picked up the one with the handle. Drop it if you accidentally did that. We need this one here, the one without a handle. So turn directly to the right, and just stick it square in the puzzle bag. There we go. Turn directly to the right again, past the well, and into this darkened area. There's another couple of puzzles here. So press the click left stick to crouch. And then choose the middle middle option, the bottom left button and the bottom right button. And then crouch up again by clicking in left stick. And then choose bottom left, bottom middle, middle right, and top right. So bottom left, bottom middle, middle right and top right. Go around the other side again, click in the left stick to crouch down. And there's one more to do. And that is this is going to be top left, middle left, middle middle, and bottom right. Bottom right. Apple jeans, boots with the furs. That opens it up anyway, and that gives us a crank, so we can turn around, head to the well, insert the crank, and crank it louder. Crank it higher. Right, what we need to do now is grab all of, these all of these items and just put them on the floor next to us. So, just press the right trigger, turn to the left slightly, press the left trigger, just do that. Chuck all these four out. Uh, we're basically gonna... This is how we finish this sword puzzle here. So what we're going to do then, we're going to pick up this smaller jack handle, or this ja hammer, whatever it's called, this jack, this handle thing. Uh, pop that into the sword first, so it's the smaller of the two. And then we're going to pick up the smaller of the two um, sword handles. So the one's got a thick chunky boy on the end of it, but we didn't need that one. It was the smaller one we needed. That completes this puzzle, and jobs are good. So head over to the left, behind the barrel, to pick up this shield now. When we grab the shield, we can go back to the left, down the hallway. And then we are going to go straight, straight all the way down to this door. Again, you're going to need, need to open up the bolt, get rid of that. Straight through, and then you can see a bunch of shields on the wall. This one's going to go to the top right. So, right you are, sir. So, top right, stick that there. Then, have a look at the floor directly by you. It is going to be another shield. That's going to go bottom middle. So, straight down the bottom middle. Turn to the left. And you're going to see the next shield just by this table. So pick that one up. And then this one is going to go happily to the bottom right. So stick that in the bottom right. Then turn directly around and head out. Out of the hallway. And this time we are going to go straight, straight, straight. And then through to the door on the right here. But basically back into the well room. So go all the way to the back corner. In the darkness where we've done the three button puzzles, etc. Grab this shield. And then head left back down the hallway all the way to the uh, straight. <laughs> all the way to the straight. It makes plenty of sense. And this one's going to go bottom left. Now she blows. And we need to go back out into the hallway. And just head all the way down to pick up the next shield. You can't miss it. And then head all the way back to put it in the top left corner to complete that section.
So once that is done then turn to the left and have a grab the key here from the map and then we can go up the steps slightly behind you. Put the key in the middle of the chest. For some reason, I was uh, having trouble figuring that out. Where do keys normally go? <laughs> there it is, right in the middle. And then we can op open up the chest, and that will get us the first mirror piece. So basically head right now out of the hallway. And this time we're going to go to the left. So first door on the left here. Back through. And we are going to do this mirror puzzle. So turn to the left, Noi. And then this first mirror piece that we got, we're going to put in the bottom right-hand corner. So bottom right-hand corner. Next, there are three pieces here. So we're going to grab the very left one first. There it is. Eventually, we're going to grab it. And then we're going to put that in the top right corner. Next, we're going to grab the very right-hand piece. So ignore the middle piece just for Noi. Pick up the right piece and put that in the top left corner. Now she blows. And then if we turn directly to the right, you can see the next mirror piece there. Chilling, killing, a little bit of illing. And we're going to put that on the bottom left. So that is not bottom left. If you're having trouble like I was here, just crouch again by clicking in the left stick. And you'll find that a lot easier. But make sure that is bottom left. So pick up the last piece there from below. And that is going to, we're going to put again, we're going to need to put that on the bottom left corner again. So like I said, I'm having a bit of trouble here. So just, cr just crouch down. There we go. And put that in the bottom left. Now we need one more piece, which is always a pain in the butt snatch. So we need to actually find it. So head out here, go to the right. And head, just head back through Creepy McCreeperson face. And the last mirror piece is actually in this treasure chest. If it's not in there, it's probably just on the floor around. You might have accidentally picked it up and dropped it. So if it's not there, it'll be on the floor around. Head back to the left. And we are going to put that... Uh, Right on the left hand side, now we can click up, so move the left stick up to grab this first weight. This is going to be the final puzzle by the way, so heading right, back through Selly McSellison, back through this, get out of here, go to, go to the left, keep going, and then eventually we're going to go to the next door, which will be on your right. And of course we're going to need to open that up as well, because... Nothing says, let's uh, make the game a little bit longer than you having to do stuff yourself. Right, six chains. We're going to put this on the left-hand side, the very first chain. The next weight is directly behind it, so pick it up. And we're going to pop that on the third chain. Then if you look to your left and look below, there it is. That's the weight number three. And we're going to put that on the very right-hand side chain, which is number six. And we've just got one more little puzzle to do to grab the last two. So we need to head back out. Again, mate, my legs are knackered doing all this walking. I wouldn't be good in a real escape room. To the right is the next weight anyway. <laughs> there we go. And we're going to put that on the fifth uh, weight. Oh, fifth chain. So we've got two left to do. Now, uh, what we need to do is put 9765 for the code, first of all, by the way. So 9765. And uh, it's going to take quite a while for me to explain this. So if you just skip forward, literally... 40 seconds or so to around 1910. That's where you're going to see the finished product. So pause the video at around 1910 and see that one. Get that done. That's going to open up the chest below. Put on the weights and complete it. So that's what that looks like then. Open up the chest below, two more weights, put the first one on the uh, fourth weight, uh, fourth chain, and then grab the other weight, put it on the second one, and finally it seemed like that one were different, but it has. So there we go guys and girls, that is escape room, or escape first two done. There is going to be an escape first three, so I will see you in the next one for that. But there we go then, guys and gals. Remember, you should only have one multiplayer achievement left. So again, get your game of tags underneath the comment section. Let's slam it all out for everyone. Slam! But until then, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend as well. Massive shout out to everyone again who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so, so much. And that's that one, guys and gals. So I'll see you in the next one. Big love.